We have made it back to Turkey and we're super excited because we're checking out two new cities on Turkey's southern coast. And first up, we are here in Adana. And Adana is known super famously for their Adana kebabs, of course. We cannot wait to eat a bunch of those. But more importantly, we're here for the kickoff of spring with Adana's Orange Festival, Portakal Festival. Pretty important time here in the southern part of Turkey as the weather starts to get warmer and nicer. And then we're starting right here on the Seyhan River. We found a booth here where they are giving the information about the festival. The festival itself even has a newspaper. It's called Carnival, which is really cute. This festival is very young actually. It's been only a few years they started doing it because of pandemic. They paused it and now they are re-bringing it again. And for three days, for every hour, they plan something. And there are concerts every day. There are so many different countries festival people so it's becoming quite international and we can't wait to spread the word so people will come to Adana for this festival this is shalgam suyu this is fermented black carrot and they make a drink for it it's actually a perfect cure for hangover as well and they sell it in Adana on the street because this is from Adana and they even put carrot in it oh delicious so this is just three liras right off the street here in Adana, right off the main thoroughfare. So this is really cool. Generally, I don't like shalgum as much as Gokshi does, but let's see. It's actually pretty good. Like I said, normally I don't like the bottled shalgum that they provide in like the rest of Turkey, but this is, this is some good stuff. Now he's making Ajula Ayran. Ayran, the yogurt drink. And after that, he's adding the shalgum on it. Shalgum I just... Ah, spicy part of shalgum he's adding. I've never tried hot or spicy Ayran before, which I didn't think was even possible, but here in the south of Turkey, they love spicy stuff too, so... Afiyet olsun. Afiyet olsun. Ooh, I don't think I could go back to having normal iron anymore. That's really good. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, oh my god. So you can see the colors change a little bit. He actually put a little bit of shal gum in it. It really goes well together. This is the most Turkish thing you can ever find. Shal gum and iron mix. Çok teşekkür ederim. Shal gum Ertan. Sosyal medyadan da takip edebilirsiniz. Teşekkürler. So we did not skip straight to the fun part. We actually woke up this morning and had jier, which is fried liver cubes for breakfast. Yes, in Adana, they have fried liver cubes and chopshish for breakfast. So we got our meat kick out of the way early this morning, walked around the whole city, explored the festival for a little bit, and now we're relaxing and enjoying our first beer of the day. Yes, there's plenty to do, plenty to see here this weekend in Adana. Can't wait to keep exploring. Okay, so after a quick custom change and a little bit of time since we were having our afternoon activities, we decided to come over to technically Sehan Lake behind us. The river becomes a lake and ends over here, and it really is beautiful, this scenery, but we're here to eat some delicious kebabs and have a kebab raka night. Usually it's balak raka, but you know, we're switching it up because we're here in Adana and they are known for their amazing kebab. This is Ambashilar, definitely a classic Adana spot. So we're really excited to eat some delicious meat. All right, little surprise because I've never introduced our best friends before, but this is Fulia. She <laughs> planned everything, so. She planned everything, we didn't do anything. I love you. Always. <laughs> And this is my best friend. Funny story, I actually met him on his wedding night, but we become like absolute best friends drinking buddies, obviously. And normally on Raka nights, there's a lot of fish, but here in Adana, they do things a little bit differently. There's a plate of onions over here, this like tomato paste with like parsley over here, tiny little lamanjun, findic lamanjun. That's also something that is in this area of special, and a cheese bore. Sheriff Ayato. Cheese bro. walking around like beetles on the street. Six of us just walking like that. It actually looks funny for other people, I believe. Real life game of Frogger. <laughs> yeah, now we're gonna have some breakfast because we're starving and we're gonna try Adana Burek. So 
Hopefully it tastes great. So we came to Izol Baklava and Borek to try Adana style Su Borek, which is, I guess, wet pastry is the best way to describe it. And it looks so delicious. The reason it's so special here in Adana is because they actually use 25 different ingredients that you won't necessarily find in your Su Borek in Istanbul or elsewhere in Turkey. And they make it mostly with this incredible oozing cheese. Like, look at this, this is literally, I cannot wait to put this into my mouth, but they also do it with Montar, which is mushrooms, as well as what we're waiting for, eggplant. Ooh, really excited about that. Among other things, of course, as well. So this is like traditional, the cheese one, but for the past 25 years, they've been kind of mixing and matching and coming up with really delicious ones as well. So, Hathya Tolson to me. The best way to wake up right now. It feels so right. After having a little bit too much fun last night, this is the perfect way to uh, fill the belly back up and keep going for today. They decided to give us, it's like a thank you gift for filming them. The owner has been incredibly nice to us and they even introduced us to their own little kitchen area where they are heating the bird eggs and they are putting the syrups on the kadayip. And they are so friendly and this is for six of us to share. This is called burma kadayip, which is probably translate into roll kadayip. And it smells so good. And all my friends are staring at me right now because they're like, give it back because we gotta eat. So. We're just gonna enjoy it, but if you're in Adama, this is something that you gotta try. <laughs> very syrupy, very good. It's nice, very nice. We're walking around in this Adana street and there are so many nuts and Turkish delights and they are displaying how they are making the tahin, which is incredible to watch. And they just serve us some Turkish delight, of course. This is super, super full. It's like Nutellas are even in it. There's so many nuts, pistachios, everything in it. And I can't believe we're still eating. There's so much food we ate. I'm gonna have one bite and give the rest to Steve because I feel like he's jealous because I got a better piece than he did. <laughs> Wow, heavenly. Wow. Okay, so on day two, we've been walking through the Old Town area after starting off at that Borek place that was completely delicious. The Old Town area dates back to, I believe, the 1500s in Adana. It is a very old city. It's gone through so many different owners, including the Romans. So right now, we made it back to the Sehan Riverside, and there are so many tour buses here. It's incredible. We did not necessarily expect this, but I guess people from all over Turkey come for the day just to see the Adana Orange Flower Festival. But the old town was really impressive. Love the couple of the old mosques that we got to check out, like yeah. Yajami and Ulu Jami. They're two of the more older historical mosques here in Adana that you should check out while you're here. So there was also a bunch of pigeons being fed outside of Ulu Jami. It's one guy having all the pigeon feeds. Well, yeah, our friend decided to feed the pigeons and she almost took one home with her, actually. She got one stuck in her arm. It was really funny. Let's keep going. morning from day three and uh, last night we actually cut off filming because we want to enjoy ourselves with our friends it was an amazing night and this morning we came to this very popular soup place and we're actually gonna try some Adana special which is called Shirdan we're gonna come in a very interesting form and we're gonna have pacha which is the trotter soup we're gonna sacrifice Steve to try it first for pacha you need to put some garlic vinegar and red pepper Selçuk is making sure I don't uh, mess up my pacha and then the vinegar this is your first time trying pacha right I believe so. Guzel. Very yeah. good. Do you prefer this or Beiran? Beiran, honestly. <laughs> like, I mean, this is good, but, you know, Beiran is a whole nother level, a whole nother experience. Can't wait to hopefully try more of that in Antep. Yes, <laughs> This looks exactly what it looks like, and it's supposed to be really delicious. It was delicious in soup form cut up, so. It looks really weird, but it's really delicious. Yeah? Yeah. So what is shoe done? End of the stomach of a cow. <laughs> it tastes better than it looks, right? A hundred percent. 
So actually, pocha is also made with the head and the cheeks, cheeks brain. and uh, ankle of uh, lamb. lamb. So it's actually really delicious and we've been enjoying it so far. Steve try Shodam, it's my turn. It actually is made in a very special way that Steve forgot to mention. They fill it with rice. It's really good. It's not my favorite thing so far, but it's really, really good. I mean, it's like dolma, but it's like stuffed grape leaves, but without the grape leaves, it's just basically with the... Cow. Cow. <laughs> it tastes really good though, it's really good. Okay, today our little food tour is continued. Now we are here to try Ichli köfte in Adana and they do it differently. It's called shishte ichli köfte, meaning it's like it's grilled. When you're eating ichli köfte in Turkey, they usually either boil it or fry it. But here in Adana, they do it grilling version. That's why the bulgur part, the outside shell, is actually thicker than usual. And inside there is some diced meat and it's extremely delicious. And this is something that you definitely have to try. We had it in our Istanbul street food video. If you want to see it like in a different version, you should definitely check that out. Also, what's this sauce that you put inside? The sauce is made of the green garlic and some peppers and olive oil in it. And honestly, this is the first time I'm trying Trying. If we're missing out any ingredients, correct us if we're mistaken because this is going to be a very exciting try for us as well. I love Ichli Köfte and I think I'm in love with this version of it. It's really really good and it's so delicious. You can see the whole oil all over. It's just so good. The whole ingredients together perfectly matching. You can tell that's like the outside shell is a little bit thicker. I like it. Look at the oil coming out of it. Oh my gosh. It's just like oozing. I'm so excited about this. The shell is a little bit thicker than what I'm normally used to, but it's so juicy inside. I love it a lot. Highly recommend the Donna style it's like cooked it. And of course, pairing it with homemade shawl gum also. All right, so it's our last day here in Adana. Just finished up with the Italy Coke date, but we came back to the festival site, one of the festival sites, and it is jam-packed because, of course, it's a Sunday, and everybody in Adana is off, and everybody came here on buses to enjoy this festival. So, not gonna jump into the middle of it so much as walk around the edges and see some really interesting sites here. But it's been really cool to be here and experience it, and, you know, finally have some nice warm weather here in Turkey. We got some ice cream and I got like caramel and biji biji in the bottom. Biji biji is actually Adana dessert and it we never tried before. But when I saw the ice cream, I wanted to have one, so I'm just gonna try it. But if you come here, definitely try it. It's like a very icy dessert. Unfortunately, we're running out of time, so we don't have time to actually try the original dessert. But this is gonna at least uh, help for the desire. Mmm, biji biji is like the white and pink bottom. It's pretty good. All right, so our time here in Adana is almost done, so we thought it would be the perfect opportunity before heading back to our hotel and picking up our bags to have one last Adana kebab. Well, I'm gonna have a durum wrap, and Gokshi is gonna have a full Adana kebab plate. So, bigger one of each, and this is, I feel, the perfect way to end off our time here in Adana before heading off to our next stop here in the south of Turkey. I was so excited to come here because this place is called Ege Kebab. Ege translates into Asian. And of course, I'm the Asian side of the country, so I was thinking maybe the person who opened up this business is Asian and from Adana. And then I asked them and it turns out that their dog's name is Ege. That's why they name it after the dog. But either way, I'm enjoying it because Ege is a Turkish name of Steve as well. So we're celebrating here. What a coincidence, Steve. That is true. Go check in the Ege. Yes. Ege. Las Adana. In Adana. Amazing. I mean, it's Adana. Of course it tastes so good. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to enjoy this incredible Adana durum and Adana plate, and we are going to call it a day here in Adana. We're gonna pick up at our next spot here on the southern coast of Turkey. We cannot wait to take you over to Gaziantep. So much more food to come, so stay tuned, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Now you're gonna cry. <laughs> I might.